up everybody welcome to my channel i'm tiger arcade today i want to just briefly give some tips tricks on utilizing the mother 32 with the moog mavis to add an additional voice and it's very very simple thing to do so let's begin all right so what i've got here again is the mother 32 right here the moog mavis right here the vcas are going out that's, that's basically the sound going out into my mixer and then in turn to my DAW. What you want to do first thing is make sure that you have your frequencies or pitch, you know, set to be how you want them to be, how, how you want them to sound on the same notes so that, you know, it makes sense. Okay, so that's how I've adjusted mine already. Um, I did this previously. And I think it sounds good. I think it'll work really well. You can even go along the scale if you want. Cool. I like it. You can also set up other things so that it makes sense with the envelope generators, you know, your filter section as well. And yeah, so this is all very subjective to how you want it to sound. I've got these on... Uh, square wave kind of more pulse width um, settings pulse width modulation it just I like the way it sounds a little better so we're gonna kind of go with that but getting to the point let's start off by connecting the mother 32 to the Moog Mavis you're only gonna need two patch cables to do this very very simple you take the keyboard KB out and you know it's out with this little thing right here it says in you know doesn't have a white box out has a white box so you know which way these go so K kb out is going to go into the 1v octave one volt not per octave to the mavis but you'll notice it's not doing anything yet nothing audible so you have to trigger it is what it's called we'll use a gate you use the gate out on the mother 32 and uh, you can guess this one. You put it into the gate input on the Moog Mavis. Now when I play on this keyboard, it will control it here. can even control it with the sequencer. I don't have a sequence set. We can set one really fast. Maybe not the best um, sequence, but hey, it's demonstrating my point here. Because if you notice, you're only hearing one voice. When you press here, both of them so you're getting you know the the intention here is you beef in you thicken up your sound with getting another oscillator here and i think it works out really well gate will you know trigger as soon as you're pressing this to say hey you need to uh play a sound but this says the keyboard out says what note what note to play um you can even uh, get some variety if you press like different notes on here like let's Press that if you notice now. Just to get some cool variety with um, chords or notes creates more dynamic uh, sounds as you're playing along. I mean, again, all subjective, however you want to do, but that's just something to be aware of as you're playing. Um, it'll play it off of that, that root note. 
All right, so now let's do Mavis to control the mother 32. And you'll notice it's not as easy as just copying what I just did. Some of the patches, patch points are different slightly. So what you're gonna do in this case, you'll do the same here with the uh, keyboard out KB it's called. Okay, so you'll take that out, put it into the same thing you did on the Mavis, but on the mother 32, VCO one octave and then here's where things get different you're going to want to take because you'll notice there's no gate out this is the gate input but you'll notice there's no gate out so what do you do eg that's the envelope generator you can still use that to trigger um, just take it out into the gate input now it should play do it off of glide which is cool so there it is in a nutshell kind of using the mother 32 with the moog mavis controlling him vice versa i hope that you guys found this video useful if you did please help out my channel by leaving a like subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and stay up to date with whatever's going on on my channel um, i'm always down for video suggestions so if you guys have some ideas put it in the comment section below if you're looking for these products i always always leave products in the description and they have links to where you can buy these products. They are um, links that I actually, you know, will benefit off of financially, but it's at no additional charge to you. It's just a way to support my channel if you do ever want anything here. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace.